Hi everyone, uh, my name is Patrick Chen, and I'm one of the co-founders of Poppy Gamer. Poppy Gamer is a user review gaming website. Uh, so basically, our focus is really to connect gamers with the best games out there. Um, we kind of see ourselves as doing for game reviews what Yelp did for restaurant reviews. So anyone can come in, write a review about a game, uh, read reviews about games, talking about new games, old games, you know, any pretty much any platform out there. And so. It's a community for gamers, and uh, we're all about uh, the user review. So to give you a little insight into why uh, me and my friends kind of built this site, um, we were pretty, I guess, like frustrated and kind of unsatisfied with the current state of gaming reviews out there. So the way things are right now, it's pretty much uh, a bunch of, I guess, big media companies uh, with video game sites, and they hire uh, professional reviewers to come review games. And these professional reviewers uh, will pretty much you know, blow through a game in a weekend or uh, a fairly short period of time because they're on a deadline and they want to get the reviews out before, pretty much before the game launches. And so this kind of experience is really different from you know, your everyday gamer. Like someone like me who plays games, not professionally, but just normally. Um, you know, everyday gamers will enjoy games over weeks, months, you know, sometimes even years. Uh, I just bought a game yesterday at GameStop, a used game that you know I hadn't played in five years. So uh, these two experiences are pretty different, and what we're trying to tap into is is just that everyday gamer experience. You know their opinion on uh, what a game is like, and so uh, we're trying to tap into that. Another part of the experience that we don't like is um, I guess there's an, kind of an inherent conflict of interest uh, with professional game sites and. Um, uh, writing reviews because you know, they have a really tight relationship with game publishers out there. Uh, they get access to pre-release games. They get access to review events. Uh, so there's just a lot of different experiences that you know your normal average user won't even have a chance to uh, take a look at. So they're very different reviews, and uh, we're trying to tap into the user review. Um, another thing we didn't really like about uh, the current gaming system is the rating system. Now, some popular rating systems out there are you know, 1 to 5 stars, uh, A through F, or uh, a 0 to 10 point scale. And so we don't feel like this really reflects real world interactions. Uh, I'll never you know, talk to my buddy and be like, hey, you know, that, game was a, that game was a B minus. Uh, you know, we'll talk in real world terms and just everyday conversation. And so with Poppy Gamer, we're really trying to, uh, I guess, recreate uh, real life interactions and do away with the arbitrary uh, point scales and things like that. And just to kind of show you an example, this is a pretty popular game site, uh, 1up.com, and here's just an example of a review uh, for Halo Reach. You can see that the editor gave it uh, an A+. And so for me, I kind of look at that and I think, well, you know, what does an A+, mean? Does it mean that Halo Reach was you know, the best game ever uh, out there? Uh, was it better than Super Mario Brothers? You know, I don't know. Um, Halo Reach was a good game, but I, you know, I don't think it was the best ever. And so we're trying to get away from that and trying to solve that problem. Um, another thing uh, that we didn't like was that going to some of the game sites out there today, they just look like humongous billboards. And so uh, IGN, it's uh, you know, the top gaming site out there today. This is, this is what it looks like, the front page looks like today. It's a humongous billboard for Uncharted 3 which uh, you know, comes out in November. <laughs> but you know that they're going to be plugging and promoting this game for the next couple of months. And even if Uncharted 3 turns out to be a terrible game, it's still all over their site. And so for us, what we really want to focus on is user-driven content. And so everything on our front page, if it wasn't voted on by a user, reviewed by a user, commented on by a user, it's, it's not on our front page. And so we want the users to decide what games are good to talk about, what games are good to trash, etc. And to kind of delve into the site itself, this is our front page. Uh, it's pretty you know, self-explanatory. Uh, on the right-hand side, you've got the top 10 games. And this is the top 10 games that users have voted on. Um, and you can see that the good thing about this is it's not all you know, just recent games. You know, people are talking about games like Portal or Shadow of the Colossus, which are you know, a couple years old. Um, but they're also talking about recent games, like Red Dead Redemption. Uh, people are even talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, which was a great game for the Super Nintendo. Uh, here's an example of a game page. Again, pretty self-explanatory. But 
Our voting system is a little different because we ask users simply if they like or don't like the game. No point scale, it's really simple. We also ask users uh, if they want to include this in their top 10 list of games. So every user on our site has a top 10 list where they pick their all-time favorite games. And this factors into the ranking algorithm that ranks all of our games. And finally, this is just an example of a user profile. Um, basically, you can follow users who you think uh, have great reviews. Uh, you can earn different achievements uh, based on activity if you've written a bunch of helpful reviews or you know, we have stupid ones like if you swear too much, we'll give you the potty mouth uh, achievement. <laughs> uh, but that's, that's basically it. And uh, I think that's it for my time. But thanks again for uh, listening. I like your motto there. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're real gamers review. That's right. Yeah. Um, so we have uh, five minutes for Q&A. So if anyone has any questions. Uh, so monetizing right now, that's, that's a big question. But, uh, I mean, I, I think for us, like, we have, you know, we have a bunch of ideas, but nothing, uh, obviously nothing's on there right now. Um, we want to avoid, you know, kind of the ugly, like, background advertisements. Um, we want to do smart things. And so uh, one thing that we had thought of was, uh, for instance, um, the, for the achievements page, kind of like how Foursquare monetizes their badges. It's a similar concept, you know, if, uh, Let's say they come up with a new Call of Duty. You know, they want to encourage people to review it, offering some sort of Call of Duty design badge uh, for reviewing that game. So that's one way to monetize. And just other ways, like looking back at the analytics for every game page to see you know, what types of users are reviewing this game, what other games they like, et cetera, et cetera. So, so who is your competition, and how do you distinguish yourself from your competition? Yeah, so uh, this is a very crowded market. Uh, there's a ton of gamers out there and a ton of gaming review sites. Um, and I think, you know, some of our biggest competition include companies like IGN, GameSpot, you know, One Up, Destructoid. There's just a million of them out there. So why would I um, use you? Uh, so the difference is that a lot of them, uh, their main focus is professional reviews, and so that's the main purpose of their content. And for us, we're really focused on user reviews. We don't feel like there's a site out there that really uh, supports the users as much as our site does. Um, we're devoted 100% to user reviews. And not only that, uh, but I think we kind of uh, try and achieve like a cross-platform. Um, I guess, yeah, we're trying to go cross-platform. So it's not just you know, your traditional consoles like uh, Xbox, PS3, <coughs> Wii, uh, PC. We try and go you know, a step further. We want to go into mobile because we feel like mobile and social games are kind of the burgeoning field, right? Those are where there's thousands and thousands of games coming out uh, every month. and so. The problem is, is there's no real way to compare these games to uh, traditional games. Like for a gamer like me, if I'm looking for a new mobile game to pick up or a new social game to pick up, I don't know, you know, how does this compare to the games I'm used to? So that's one of the things we're trying to do is to have that direct comparison. Yep, in the back. Uh, how have you been financed so far? Uh, it's just through, it's, it's been bootstrapped so far, so just me and my buddy. We don't integrate with uh, Xbox Live, but that is an awesome idea. <laughs> how long has your site been live, and how many users do you have? Uh, so our site's been live. Uh, we, we finished the first build late last year, and so it's been live since then. Uh, we haven't really gone out and told anyone about it. Uh, uh, just you know, for the past couple months we have. But um, so far, we have a couple hundred users. and. Uh, you know, I think about 10% of our users are the ones that are actually contributing content. And I think that's one of the challenges of having this type of site is that a very small percentage of your users are actually you know, writing the reviews, which is you know, the core of your site. So that's a challenge we're trying to work through. Cool. Any more questions? Uh, I you know, one thing I thought of for you to think about is from a monetization perspective, would you use like virtual currency more reviews you write, the more points you get, then you get, you know, somebody can resell that somehow, I don't know, to give. That's true. I did not think of that. <laughs> I will write that Lots down. Lots of awesome ideas for you. Thank you. That is good. Yes, in the back. Um, I really don't have a question. I just wanted to repeat the question people ask. We can't hear the question. Oh, sorry about that. Well, I just missed like eight questions, so. It's okay, just repeat the last question. But the last one was just, uh, you just made a comment that maybe I could monetize by using virtual currency, like the more 
uh, reviews people write, the more virtual currency they get, and somehow have some sort of you know, revenue sharing there. Okay. Yes. Oh, you, last question. I'll give you a little tip. It's not a question. Go and suck all the uh, reviews of all the mobile games from iTunes and from Android Man, and you will increase the site by a thousand times in a day. <laughs> Thanks. We definitely did think of that. Um, well, one of the things I don't know. One of the th we definitely thought of that, but then you know, I mean, I'm sure you've all seen the iTunes reviews. They're total crap, mostly. So, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Patrick. If you have questions for him, you can talk to him after.